What is up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's advanced, or excuse me, today's video beginner tip of the week, we're going to talk about how to use the run commit feature and run commit defense in Madden NFL 25. Uh, one of the things a lot of uh, good competitive players are doing this season is using the run commit um, as a basic defense and a way to fill out your opponent without really getting killed by the run. As we know, the run is very effective in Madden 25, and it's really hard to find a defense that is both good against the run and the pass. Well, today we're going to focus on how we can make the run, how we can kind of. Uh, Use run commit as a pass and a run defense. So we're going to talk about that, and it's it's a formation that's very popular um, in defenses we see today, especially uh, four three defenses. And today I'm going to show you out of a, uh, out of a um, excuse me out of a sub package. But it's basically uh, you'll find it in playbooks. It'll be the sub one four six, the sub or the dollar three two six. Um, it sometimes could be. Uh, consider the sub two three six or the two three six, but it basically you're looking for this alignment here. It looks like kind of like, like a triangle alignment, and that's the basic front that we're going to use. And, and and what a lot of people are struggling with is how to use, like I said, how to use the run commit feature, and and stop the run and the pass at the same time. Uh, you know, have a decent pass coverage. Now you're not going to be able to get pressure out of this, at least not yet. We're going to talk about that later on in the season. But you're going to have really pretty good coverage for this, and the, and the coverage we like to use um, when using this this technique um, is the cover two sync out of the out of the two three six, the three two six, or whatever sub package you're going to use, and it doesn't matter which one. What you're going to do is you're going to um, you're going to run commit, obviously. So you're going to hit L trigger. You're going to flick your right analog stick down if you're on Xbox 360. If you're on PlayStation 3, you're going to hit L2, and you're going to flick that right analog stick down as well. What's going to happen is it's going to blitz all of these linebackers here. Well, you don't really want them to blitz because if they blitz, um, you know, and, you're, and your opponent sends Manningham on a quick drag over the middle, you see it's wide open for easy yardage, and it's just not what we want. We want to still be able to defend the pass and the run at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to run commit down. And then we're going to globally zone our linebackers. And this is going to allow those linebackers to at least recover and have a shot at stopping quick drags, quick slants, things like that that they may throw uh, in a run commit situation. So what we're going to do to globally zone them is we're going to flick, um, we're going to hit RB on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation 3, and we're going to flick the right analog stick up. And you see that this is what's going to happen. But that's not the best thing that is about this, is we can also change where the yellow zones are going to play by hitting the man align button. And you do that by hitting triangle, RB, and it's going to man align the zones. Now, since we... Since this is a balanced uh, formation, a balanced package in the sub four one four six, we can easily create a fairly balanced defense because of the the way the formation allows it. So you don't have to base align after you man line, which saves you a step in your setups. And now you'll see that they're going to drop back. You see these backers drop back, and now I have a shot at playing that underneath. You know, obviously we may use your guy there or whatever, but you see that it, it has an opportunity to stop. That stuff that we were having trouble with before, but now your now now your question is okay. But what if they run a play action pass? And as we talked about in our in our tip on how to beat run commit, one of the more common things is to, to call play action pass and put the wide receiver on the streak here. So once again, we're going to run commit. We're going to do the global zone, the man align. All that's the same. But now they're going to run a play action pass, and what's going to happen is. Uh, X is going to be wide open over the top to beat them because they didn't recover well. Well, how do we how do we fix that? Because that's a problem, right? That's something we don't want to, you know. That's one of the biggest flaws I think of the run commit defense right now is being able having that vulnerability to get beat over the top because those safeties are going to immediately jump down on the run. That's going to allow that big deep pass over the top of our heads. So how do we combat that? Well, what we like to do is we like to use disguise cushion coverage. So once again, we're going to we're going to get down to the snap. Globally zone the linebackers, man align. Those are our simple setups. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit triangle, triangle, or YY, depending on what console you're on, to activate disguise cushion. What's going to happen is these yellow zones, and all the zones for that matter, are going to play deeper. So here we're run committing still, and if we try to throw that streak, you see that we have a lot better opportunity to get back on it. And there's actually one other tip that I want to show you with this uh, defense that could potentially be the biggest game changer of all, and, and why a lot of people really like that. But that wasn't a play action pass, guys. He didn't actually do play action. That was just a regular streak. And so what could happen as well is if we set it up the same way again, like so, and we try to hit the streak, but the play action is going to hold him for just long enough 
that they have, they still have that opportunity to maybe bomb over the top of our head, correct? So how can we still lock that up? Well, we're just going to use one other adjustment. So once again, run commit down, globally zone your linebackers, man align, all that's the same. Spread your linebackers if you want to make it look like pressure, and then call the skies cushion, and then you're just going to simply back off your coverage. And what's going to happen is basically just they're just going to back off, and they're going to immediately they're going to immediately come down, but they're going to go back, and so they're in position now to stop that dreaded streak over top if they're in a play action situation. So here we go, play action, and now you see that there's two people in in and obviously Madden 25 that you can sometimes throw the ball through people, but you see that they were in position. That's really all you can do. So. This is how you use the run commit, guys, and then obviously you can just adjust it to however however you want to do. So if like they're running the option, you can option play quarterback, you can disguise cushion. You can basically run a really good defense out of this. This is uh, something I like to use um, in, in basic situations where I, I want to be safe against the run and the pass. This is actually a really effective first possession defense because it's something a lot of people don't see. It's also something that's very effective at stopping the run and the pass from a basic front. Now, real quick, I do want to go over with you, and I'm going to just flip the sides here in practice mode to show you, because I'm sure that the other playbook has some kind of form of read option. But, um, basically, the only thing else I wanted to show you is how uh, one other adjustment you can use to really lock down read option runs. Uh, so here, as you see, this is a 4-3. We have the dollar three two six, and that's the same thing. We're going to use the cover to sync, just like we were using before the, the cover to sync. So it's all the same. It's just different personnel, different terminologies, different terminology, different playbooks, stuff like that. So if I can find, I don't know if Atlanta even has a read option. It'd be, it would suck if they didn't. Might have to go out and grab one. Uh, real quick, uh, while we're waiting, I want you guys to go over. I want you to check out Ryan Dykes' YouTube channel. I want you to go and I want to go to your browser. I want you to check out NextGenMadden.com. Uh, Ryan Dykes has a couple of e-guides over there. Some are free and some are obviously for money um, that you can purchase or you can just check out for free. Uh, one of the best minds in the Madden community, one of the better players in the Madden community, and uh, he's going to share his stuff. So basically what I want to show here, uh, we'll just use the inside zone. And what you're going to do is you're going to set everything up the same. So here, dollar through six is a trip, so we'll go ahead and base align it uh, after we do our setup. So... Base align it, back off the coverage, call disguise cushion coverage, and now we're going to do one other adjustment. We're going to option play quarterback. We do that by hitting left trigger and A on Xbox 360 if you're on PlayStation 3, L2, and X. Okay? And what's going to happen here is, you see that run commit is just going to lock up that inside run. And if, if the outside run is a possibility, obviously we can't show you here. We maybe have a wildcat, but, but basically they'll always play the quarterback. And basically turning the run into a halfback dive, which is exactly what we want uh, to have happen. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, read option, but it will basically look exactly like what I just showed you. So I hope this tip can help you out some and, and learn a little bit about the run commit defense. I think it's a very viable option this season. Um, and I think we've really expanded it and, and, and uh, contrasted and made it uh, something that can really be very, very effective against some of the better offenses in Madden NFL 25. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys can expand on it make it your own. And I hope that this uh, is another great week for you guys and tips. And I hope you learned something from today's video. If you didn't, I apologize. Be sure to check back next week. Maybe you'll learn something from that one. If you have any questions or concerns or if you have some, if you have like a, a comment on this video, uh, you know, you, you have feedback for me, I'm always willing to hear it. Please leave that in the comments below. Or if you think it's something that you don't want other people to see, you know, you, you may be wanting to really call me out hardcore or something, then just go ahead and email it to me. My email's in the description. And also be sure to check out Ryan Dykes over at nextgenmadden.com. He's also on the maddentips.com forums. Check him out. He's a great guy, and I love his content. Hopefully you guys do too. And also, real quick, um, Black Chaos. Uh, you guys have probably seen him in my comments. Check his channel out. Uh, great, entertaining gameplay. Great tips, great knowledge, great guy, great people over there. Uh, check those guys out. To do, they're doing a really good job in their content, and uh, I would love to see them get uh, some subscribers and some new viewers uh, just because just I shouted them out. So thanks for watching so much, guys. I appreciate it. appreciate your time. I appreciate uh, you know everything you guys have given me over the course of the last couple of months, and I hope to continue to provide you with great content. See you guys next week for another great advanced tip.